All right, this is a simple and fast review of the Tashiji uh, heated seat cushion. This is uh, a dual purpose uh, heated seat cushion because it can be used either in your office chair, which I'll demonstrate here, um, or in your car. It comes with a, um, a, a cigarette lighter adapter, uh, so uh, can be used. It's got a four foot um, cable. I'll be demonstrating it and using it on my, uh, on my chair um, in the office, which I sit in. Um, most of my time is spent there, so I'm going to be using it here. Uh, I'm looking forward to opening it up and uh, showing you how I'm going to be using it. All right, so a couple key important things that you need to know about um, is that uh, it's a DC 12 volt. Um, it's uh, 30 watts of power. Um, and, and it's going to have a really sweet digital display with an on off uh, temperature, low and high settings. And uh, of course, a timer, which is critical because, uh, you know, a lot of times you, you don't really pay attention to how long you're going to be using this thing. Um, so having a, an on off timer is really good. So I wanted to kind of show you the padding first. Um, it's a uh, it's a really soft padding. Um, and as we flip it over here, we're going to see um, a couple things. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to see the, um, you know, the power sources. Um, so there's two optional power sources. Um, once again, there's going to be your, um, your uh, cigarette lighter display or, uh, adapter and, uh, you know, of course, your, uh, your power display and, of course, the regular four-foot cable. Um, so we're going to be using this and, um, you know, how, uh, how you're going to undo this is, uh, is literally just pull apart, um, whenever you're ready to kind of plug that in and, uh, you know, we'll just switch that over to the regular, uh, power adapter. So we'll be demonstrating that in a minute, but, uh, the next thing I want to kind of show you is that it's just going to, you know, uh, these are bungee style cord or, um, you know, uh, I guess uh, straps that'll uh, click on to your your car seat or your uh, office chair. So um, there uh, there's really nice um, you know functionality there. Uh, so let's get it uh, show you how it, get, it gets on. All right, so let's just kind of show you on an office chair that um, there's going to be uh, two straps here. Um, you can kind of see uh, that will go over the edge, um, either the back of the chair or the back of the um, car seat. And then, um, of course, it's going to uh, just clip in together. I'm hoping you can see this, uh, like so. And then there's a secondary clip that will then come around. So again, this is just gonna kind of make sure that it stays in place um, either on your car or um, on the uh, you know uh, on the chair itself, um, there is a little bit. So so if you have a bigger t high chair, I have a kind of low chair. Um, it'll go up even higher. Um, and then again, just spinning around. There's two pieces down here that can clip in. Um, let me make sure you can see those. So um, there'll be two clips right here that'll hook in on your uh, your actual car seat, um, automobile seat somewhere. Um, and again, you can kind of find different things. And then of course, uh, your cable is going to come out from the front. Um, so, or it can come to the side, depending on what you're looking to do. Um, I'll be putting it in the front cause, uh, my stuff is underneath the desk. So I'm going to get it plugged in and kind of walk you through exactly how this works. All right. So once it's plugged in, you're going to just simply press your little power button and then you'll ad adjust the temperature as you see fit. And this is going to be, the L is going to be your uh, timer, 30, 60, 90 minutes. And uh, something to consider here is that it looks like the temperature is in Celsius, not uh, Fahrenheit. So just uh, something, you know, to consider. So for those of you that are not familiar, because I'm not, you know, completely fluent in it. Um, well, let's just stay with uh, the 60. 60 is going to be uh, up to 140 degrees and 30 is going to be about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, bottom line is it should get you cooking pretty good right from the start. Um, 
So down at 30, we're going to be talking about 80, 60, 86 degrees. So most people, that's going to be a little bit of warmth. Um, and then when we crank it all the way up to 60, um, you're going to really start to, uh, to cook because that's going to be 140 degrees. So um, just showing you kind of, you know, I can already feel the temperature. It's only been going for about, you know, um, a couple seconds, uh, you know, 10 seconds. Um, I can already feel the heat cranking through here. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, should be uh should be very comfortable for me um and again um you know the beauty of this is uh it's going to run all the way through the center um so there's not really going to be much um, temperature on the sides here but it's all through the middle here is going to be where your temperature is going to be so your butt your back um lower back um all going to be hit so um hopefully this helps with your uh, decision making process and thanks for watching